Hey love, so it's April, of course you already know that, but I'm back to do this hair tutorial. As promised, I did state that I would show you how to do this bun that I did on my makeup tutorial because it was already done. Um, but yeah, so let's first talk about, before I even get into the video, you guys are going to see my hands of course because I do need to use them. So let's just talk about first my hands. If you can see that, it's like this brownish stained color. Okay, so... You guys want to have a good laugh, then I'm going to give you a good freaking laugh. So last night, or yesterday rather, I went to Walgreens to purchase some beauty care products. Um, for one, I seen one of the ladies here on the YT, which is um, Nikki Tutorials, along with Platinum D, do a video on using the Nivea Men Shaving Balm, which will help those with oily skin as using it as primer. Along with that, there were like other videos too that I watched a couple of, but those two women mainly stand out to me. So I went to purchase that, and I've seen that they had the self tanning spray. You get two bottles for um, $9, which was the Walgreens brand. Now, normally I don't buy the Walgreens brand, it's either L'Oreal Paris. Um, and yes, I do spray tan um, because I really don't like to sit out in the sun too long because it's hell of a hot out here. But also I spray tan because my legs look like raw chicken, okay? I'm very light and my legs are just too light. So in the summertime, I do want to look a little tan, especially because I have bad circulation. So I do have a lot of veins that... Um, show on the um out surface of my skin or you could just see it through my skin so i'm kind of like very self-conscious about that and that's why i don't wear like a lot of short skirts unless i have like a really really good tan sometimes i'll go to the tanning salon yes that's right the black girl goes to the tanning salon but i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one that is african-american that goes to the tanning salon so anyway i needed a quick fix and i did this all last summer and it came out perfect especially with the certain spray nozzle with l'oreal so I said, well, you know what, I'm going to try this Walgreens brand. I looked it up on YouTube before I even purchased it to see if there was any reviews on it before I purchased it and spent my $10. And it was some pretty good ones. Um, they were, of course, Caucasian women, but who cares? They were good reviews. So I get home and I read the bottle and I said, okay, when I get out the shower and I'm fully dry and clean, I'll go ahead and spray this stuff on myself like I normally do. For the life of me, do not ask me why I thought it said spray in circular motions. That's what I did. I stood in front of my big, huge mirror, and I was butt-ass naked, and I sprayed myself in big circular motions. Now, I sprayed so much that I was standing there like this with the stuff dripping off me. And normally, it would take like two to three minutes for it to dry. Ladies, let me tell you, this shit took like over ten minutes. I got fed up. I put my clothes on, and I laid down. So when I woke up this morning, I knew that I had washed my hands, but I guess I did not wash them thoroughly. And when I woke up this morning, I had like streaks of freaking tan spray all on my legs. Amongst that, my hands. And I'm not really sure how the surface of my feet and bottom of my feet were sprayed. But now I look like a tangerine. I mean, like, the tan came out pretty okay, and you probably can't see it on camera, but it came out okay. But look, I do have parts that are really blotchy, so I am, like, so bummed that my hand looks like this. Um, I did call the tanning salon and ask them, do they self-tan or spray tan, and they informed me they did. And I let them know of my issue, too. So tonight, after I get out the shower, I will be scrubbing down with some lemon juice and baking soda, making it into a paste, and getting this crap off of me and then I'll go to the tanning salon so in case you just guys wanted to know what happened to my hands yes bad bad experience with the Walgreens spray their nozzle was kind of loose so it was dripping too it sprayed a lot at one time and when I woke up this morning and read the bottle again it was spray in wide strokes not circular motions I don't really know where I got that from so I'm kind of screwed up with that. But anyway, so the bun tutorial. I've already went ahead and brushed my hair into a bun. So this is my own human hair. Um, Well, this is my own hair. I'm a human. So this is my own hair. And over the course of time, my ponytail was way thicker than this. Like, seriously thicker than this. But my hair has been coming out a lot lately um, due to just, like, different types of things. And a lot of it had to do with my prior home where I lived at. There was... Um, mold that I did not know of so um my hair fell out a lot and 
Um, one of my daughter's hair did fall out too, um, which was mumsy. So, yeah, her hair grew back so nicely, but I'm not really sure. I think mine's didn't grow back as nicely because it's always hidden. So, I've been trying to just, like, let it breathe. So, it is awful thin, and I don't like to wear it out. So, anyway, the ponytail bun, normally I do my ponytails with two full two and a half full tracks of weave weaving hair and i did a video on that a long time ago and i actually still have it if you guys want to see it i still have it on my external hard drive and um i'll be more than happy to upload that for you guys if you want to see how to do it with the weaving hair but for this one so i was on youtube and i was watching one of my other favorite divas which is um Sylvie, um, Savannah Silver, and I think that's how you say her name. She lives in Japan. She's this beautiful African-American woman. Oh, my God. I love her videos because her editing is, like, off the chain. And she's just so pretty. Her makeup tutorials are bomb ass. So if you've never watched her, then make sure you do. So she did this look in a video. Um, it was just a bun tutorial. And I loved it so much that I decided to do it. But hers was a little bit different being the way that she wrapped it around. I tried that method, but it really didn't work out for me, so I found something that was more suitable to my needs. So the bun that I actually had on um, in the makeup video was just one pack of cankaline hair, you know, extension hair, like so. And I just took a scrunchie rubber band. I didn't cut the hair. It's just in its full length. And I just took the scrunchie and, or the hair tie and wrapped it around put it underneath and kind of like looped it through so that way I could put it onto mine but this one I want it to be a little thicker because it was kind of thin so I'm going to make the ponytail thicker so I went out and bought another pack of hair it doesn't have to be really expensive but I wouldn't suggest the really silky um extension hair the silky straight just doesn't wrap around properly so I wouldn't suggest getting silky straight so what I'm going to do with this pack right here is I'm going to go ahead and remove the rubber band at the bottom. I'm not going to cut the hair because I want to twist it. And I'm going to cut this rubber band here in the middle to remove that. Now I have one pack and I'm going to go ahead and add the second pack. So now I'm going to put the two packs together and they're folded in half. You don't want to cut anything. You just want to leave it as is so you got yourself a nice thick cankaline synthetic ponytail and you want to take the actual scrunchie or scrunchie or hair tie i would suggest using the hair ties opposed to rubber bands because it's better on your hair so you want to take that and you want to pull it around like so and just loop one through it and pull it as tight as can be so that way you're going to wrap this portion around your own bun and as for this, I'm going to take this here, I'm going to put a rubber band. You can put a rubber, regular rubber band. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this rubber band. And I'm going to wrap it here, right here. So we have a little scrunchy pull tie. And then we have this portion right here, which is all stuck together held together by this rubber band so this helps it not go all over the place and it also helps to set it so what you want to do you want to make sure that your hair is pulled up in a ponytail as high as you want it It depends on your preference if you want the i dream of genie bun then go ahead um but remember that it's super thick so you don't want it sitting all the way right here then your bun to come like right here so i have it in the middle and you see my hair is thin so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my hair and i'm going to braid it And you want to secure it with a rubber band at the end. I'm going to take my braid and I'm going to wrap it to like this little tiny ponytail. And I'm just going to use one hairpin to pin it down. So now I'm going to take this portion, which is this little portion right here, that we made into a hook, kind of like tie. And I'm just going to put that around my bun. So now it hangs in the back of my head, depending on where you want it. And I'm going to section it in half. As you can see, I have like this long, luxurious hair. Ooh. And I'm going to take one and I'm going to take it and I'm going to divide that portion that's in half into half. And I'm just going to t start twisting it. Twisting it enables the hair not to be all over the place, but it also gives you like this cute hairstyle for, you know, making a bun. 
you want to twist it all the way to the ends. That's the reason why I said don't cut it because if you cut it, then it's kind of blunt and it makes it harder to twist. So with the unevenness, it makes it a lot easier to twist at the ends. And even if you have like this little piece of stray hair, you can basically pull it off. You want to get a rubber band, another rubber band, and you want to secure the ends. Then go ahead to the next side and do the exact same thing. Now in the back you do see like it's kind of like hanging, no big deal. No big deal. Make sure you got yourself some good bobby pins. And you want to take one of them, it doesn't matter which one, you want to start. If it's this one, you want to start wrapping it around this way. Try not to have your twist too loose. You might have to kind of like twirl it. Like so. And then you want to go ahead and get your bobby pins. Good bobby pins. You want to take the end and secure that. And maybe a couple of spots in the middle as well. And I would highly suggest a couple of spots in the middle because these things are not going to hold up for themselves. But you can kind of like tuck it underneath the hair so that way it's not seen. And because the hair is so thick you won't even see it. And then you want to take the other one because you wrapped it this way. Make sure that you kind of like twirl the hair. Because your twist will get a little loose. And you want to wrap this one the opposite direction. And once again, with your pins. And if you're wondering, what about the ponytail in the middle? With it being like this, because it's so much hair and so full, you don't see it. So you really don't have to worry about your ponytail or your little bun in the middle. Because once you wrap this hair around it, as you can see... You don't even see that ponytail in the or that little bun in the middle. And this is how I make my bun. So, honestly, I will leave this like this for like a few days. What I do is I'll put a stocking cap on it. And when I say a stocking cap, it's not an entire stocking cap. So I'll use this stocking, stocking cap. It's just a basic wig cap. And I cut the top of it and I go ahead and I will put it on. This is only a night. And I'll use a little bit of hairspray if needed. And this just helps so that way I don't have to do it all over again in the morning because I hate doing stuff over again. And I'll take that stocking cap. And you want to make sure the end of the stocking cap, meaning the part portion that's the thickest, is laying flush up against your hairline. You want to go ahead and just push that back a little bit right there on your hairline and then take your scarf <clears throat> normally I use a bigger scarf than this much wider and you want to go ahead and rest that on top of your scarf and the stocking cap actually helps your scarf from slipping back meaning slipping back onto your hair so this also holds your hair down and try to get a scarf that is more secure or basically a lot wider so that way none of your hair is peeking through. And just go ahead and tie that around. Knot it. Don't give it too tight because you don't want a hair headache. And just twist it or tie it in a bowl, whatever you want to do. If you want to look fancy, you can go ahead and twist it like I did so. And just tuck it in the sides. So this is how I do my bun, and it actually lasts me for like four days. I've actually worn this bun for four days, so, um, well, the one prior to this, I wore it for four days. But that is how I tie it at night. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give myself a little bit of sideburns. And I'm going to make sure that all those little baby hairs, I don't want it super duper neat because sometimes a little messy bun is cute. But I'm going to take my 24-hour hold gel or glaze, and I'm just going to kind of like, Use my fingers and swoop down my hairs because I feel like my head is so long. Like, ugh. my kids have told me that I have like this long head. So, 
and it's true I'm not the I'm not going to lie it is true I'm just going to take this and I'm going to kind of like play down my hairs this is how I do my bun now and like I said, you don't see that little hump in the middle. And if you feel really insecure, this will actually hold. But if you feel insecure, like if you feel like the bun is going to move, then I would suggest getting the actual hairpins, which are more open. These are the open hairpins like this. You can always take these if you feel like your bun is going to move or you, don't, you feel like the two sections that you've made are going to move. You can always take these. These are great. And kind of like put them in between and they will hold like that as well. Or if you feel like a piece of hair is too high, you can always take those hairpins and push them down with that, and there you have it. And that's about it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send me a comment or an email, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. As always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you girls on my next video.